In the following two problems, we're going to find the critical points of functions algebraically. Critical points are where the deriv first derivative is either zero or undefined. So the very first thing we do is we find our first derivative. So f prime of x is going to be 6x squared plus 6x minus 36. Next thing we do is set it equal to zero and we solve. Now here I notice I can factor a 6 out, so I get x squared plus x minus 6. Now if this will factor, I'll factor it. If not, it's a quadratic. I'll use the quadratic formula. If it's a larger polynomial, you might want to use a graphing calculator or some math program, Wolfram Alpha or something, to find your zeros. This is going to factor into x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. That means I have critical points of negative 3 and positive 2. Let's go down to this next one. Again, first step, find your derivative and then set it equal to 0. So f prime of x is 7. Leave the inside alone. We've got a chain rule, x squared minus 4 to the 6. Now times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x minus 0, so just 2x. Before we find the zero, sometimes it's easy to sim easier to simplify. So 14x times x squared minus 4 to the sixth. We're going to set that to zero. We have a product equal to zero. We can set each part of the product equal to zero and solve. So we have 14x equals zero, and x squared minus 4 equals zero. Now this is going to give us a critical point at x equals zero. This one, when we go to solve, we add 4 to both sides. We get x squared equals 4. Square root both sides. We're going to get x equals. We're going to want to take the positive and negative, plus and minus 2. So we find that we have three critical points for this second one.